advanced conditioning class. It's Janine again here for another Friday. Although we're not meeting today in person, I did make this video ahead of time so we could still get our workout in for the week. Make sure we've got plenty of water, we've got our mat set, and we are ready to get flexible, not only with our five minute warm up, but our amazing workout for our circuit conditioning and then our five minute cool down. So let's get started right away. Um, I'm not going to be playing music at least for today, so I won't have any YouTube issues later, but feel free to add some music into yourself. Take as many breaks as you need. I'll remind you that during it. And if you need any modifications, feel free to do that as well. So we'll get started with our five minute warm up. It's going to be different without music, but it's going to be all good. Okay, here we go with our first one. It's just going to be an easy set of jumping jacks. So making sure our arms are fully uh, stretched above our heads as we slowly make sure that our legs are evenly paired outside. If we need to modify this, we can always just do a nice little jump out every other leg to take that pressure off of our feet. But if we can, we get right back into it. Each one of this is just gonna be for 30 seconds. So let's keep going. Next, we'll do some seal jacks. So same motion, now we're gonna bring in our hands forward and back to the side. So they're still going to be in a straight line, but just going from side to side, really opening these up, getting them ready for a workout. Awesome. All right, next we're gonna move into some toy soldiers. So making our leg make connection with our hands, opposite hand, opposite leg. Here we go. Feeling like we're warming up already. And if we can't touch our toes, that's quite all right. Just try to reach as far as you can. Even if your leg can't kick as far up, make sure our arms are still doing the full rotation. Okay, next we're gonna do leg swings. So finding a wall by you, we're going to make sure that we're swinging our legs as far back and as far forward as possible. Straight line, parallel to the wall that you're holding on to. Feel free to put your other hand on your hip for support. We slowly swing our legs back and forth. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna switch that. Turn to the other side, hand on your hip, and slowly leg swings. Next one we're going to have are some high knees, so get ready for those. All right, making our hands at a 90 degree, we are going to be bringing them to the bottom of our palms with each rep, making contact with the top of our legs with each one of these as we continue to warm up our body and get ready for this workout. Here we go. And move right into butt kickers. So bringing our hands to our glutes and making contact with that heel. Awesome job. Math moving a little bit, but that's okay. I'll straighten it up before we start our workout. Making sure our knees are pointed down with each one of these reps as our heel really kicks to the back. All right, next, we're going to grab a knee, pull it in, and let it go down. Grab the other knee, pull, and let it go. Just really simple, pulling into our bodies, allowing our bodies to warm up as we continue to stretch them out. Here we go. Awesome job. Okay, our next one we're going to do are standing crunches or standing stars. So we're going to have our hands out to the side, 
opposite hand to opposite foot and back up, making sure our spine is staying straight on this one. Really keeping rigid, only bending at our hips with each one of these. Perfect. Got one more set before we're done with our warm up. Awesome. Now we're going to keep our hands on our hips. We're going to bring our knee up, out to the side and down, up, out to the side and down. Really opening up those hip flexors. Almost done with our warm up. We're going to grab some water and get right into our routine. So again, for our circuit workout, what we will be accomplishing is 10 different workouts for minute 31st. Then we take a one minute minute break. We'll do those same 10 again for 60 seconds, another minute water break, and then we'll do that last set again for 30 seconds and be done. So grab some water. We'll get right into our workout in a second. Awesome. All right. And so you can't see the front of my mat, so we'll be cheating this a little bit um, into the wall. So let me get that set up. Okay, here we go. So for the first 10 that we're doing, really focus on making sure that we can get all the way through it. Um, afterwards, we will take that 60 seconds and really reset yourself mentally to know that you can do it. It's only 10 motions and it's going to be even less time every time we do it. The first time you do this, you will have, I believe I gave us 20 seconds of rest between each, but each set it'll go down too. So we'll keep with it. Okay. So for the first one we'll be doing, we'll be getting on our backs and we'll just be doing an easy leg swing. So what you're going to be doing is keeping your hand above your head, opposite foot down, and then the other hand down. So alternating legs, really getting that swing in right here, only for 90 seconds. We've got this for a minute 30, and we're just alternating right here. Starting to feel that engagement in our cores. We're gonna hold our abdominals tight as our legs swing and touch our hands with each one of these reps. Here we go. Perfect. Really getting that leg straight up all the way and all the way down. Try not to take any breaks. We're going to make it through this, keeping our shoulders off the ground. Our hands are straight, our legs are straight, our cores are engaged. We're really feeling it right here in the section of where our bodies are contracting and bringing our legs up, not using our momentum, really engaging that core to pull your legs up with every rep you do. Here we go. Awesome job team. Having another amazing Friday, getting stronger than ever. All right, you're gonna have 20 seconds of rest. The next motion we'll be doing, whether your hands are on your stomach or they're on the side, or you have them under your glutes, you can hold yourself with your legs being straight. You're going to bring them up, and I want you to twist and go back down. We're gonna bring them up, twist, and come right back down. Really working on our lower abdominals here making sure that every time we come up, we're visualizing pushing up on the ceiling and back down, trying to bring your entire booty off the ground and right back down. <sighs> Straight legs all the way through. Here we go, ladies. Another amazing workout, conditioning ourselves to become the best versions of ourselves this week. <sighs> Slowly pushing up and letting our legs lift back down. Again, if this is too tough with your hands on top, you can always put them right under your booty and just hold them there to help give yourself a little extra stability. Here we go. Legs are up, twist, and back down. Awesome job. Keeping our legs together, keeping them straight. Try not to have a bend, I know it's tough, but you are tougher. You can make it through this workout. 
We are becoming stronger physically and mentally because we know we are capable of getting this done. Here we go. Really twisting with each one of these sets. Taking breaks when you need to, but only letting your legs hover. Don't let them touch the ground. Try not to have them touch the ground. Here we go. Awesome. Now we've got another 20 seconds before we get into our next set. So our next set, we're going to be getting our hip dips. So you're going to hold it in plank. If you can only hold it in plank for 30 seconds or 90 seconds, that's awesome. But if you can, add the intensity by dipping your hip down on each side and bringing it right back to the center. Dipping it down on each side and bringing it right back to the center. If you can, just hold it in plank. That is tough enough for 90 seconds. But if you can, push yourself and really get that sway. Really get those hips to twist. Holding everything else straight. You are holding plank and only your hip is dipping from one side to the other. Here we go. Holding it right in the center and getting that really nice twist in. Feeling your abdominals work with you. Here we go. Twisting it out, knowing we are almost done. Even if you just hold it in plank for as long as you can, if you give yourself one or two hip twists, that is more than your body knows how to not do. So if you keep on doing it, you show yourself that you can get past the part that's difficult. These workouts will not break you, but they will build you and build you strong. Awesome. All right, give yourself a 20 second break. Woo, shake out those arms. We are working out today. So what we're gonna do next is get back on our bellies and we are gonna do some super women. We are gonna do some dynamic flies, holding ourselves down. And every chance we get, we bring our arms and our feet lifted and back down. So we're gonna lift and down, lift and down. Really getting that lower back, really getting those abdominals engaged, pulling everything off the mat and resting back down. Give yourself that nice kindness if you want to just lay down your mat a little bit longer, but then shoot right back up as soon as you get that energy to keep on moving. Here we go. Really lifting, really giving yourself a good workout today. Lifting up off the mat and laying right back down. Way to go. Awesome job. Really breathing in deep and exhaling when you get down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. This is tough. Awesome. Get yourself off your mat. We have some push ups, let downs. We're going from plank to push up position. So we'll go from push up down to plank, up to push up. We'll be doing that for 90 seconds. Get your bodies ready. Ava, I know you love these. Here we go. Down to plank, up to push up. Down to plank, up to push up. And while you're doing these, realize if you're pushing yourself up with your left hand and down your left hand, and then sometimes switch it so you're pushing up with your right and down with your right. <sighs> Alternating what feels like our power arm, what's our power side, and making both sides equally as strong, equally as controlled, and starting and ending. 
finding balance in this motion, trying not to sway. Even I sway sometimes, but when I can, I try to focus so my body is not swaying. It is smoothly going up and coming right back down. Awesome job, here we go. Making it through this workout. Way to go, team. We are pushing through this workout. Really finding strength in your arms. Keeping those cores engaged, keeping those legs together. yourselves that 20 second rest we've got mountain climbers coming up next sorry I just burped so mountain climbers you're going to be in push-up position and you're slowly just going to bring your knee in and the other one in so as we're doing this first set they're just going to be coming right to the center here we go for this first set we are just bringing them right into the center we've got 90 seconds on the clock and we are marching up that hill. We are climbing this mountain together. Whether your pace is a little quicker or it's a little slower, keep on moving. Awesome job climbing up this mountain together. Here we go. Whew. Really keeping those abdominals engaged every time we pull our knee in closer to our chest. Whew. We've got this. Powering up that mountain. Way to go, team. We got this. Awesome. All right. We're going to stand up for this next set. We're going to do some inchworm push ups. I know you like these or not. So we're gonna shake out our arms, because at least for this one, it's gonna be pretty intense. We're doing it for 90 seconds. We are going to walk all the way out, do a push-up, and walk all the way back, and roll up. Awesome job, here we go. Walking it out to those inchworms, pushing, pushing all the way back up, and standing, awesome. With each one of these, really focus on your arm motions, having them go straight out, tuck under, and walk all the way back. Rocking when you get to the top, and then going right back down as soon as you come fully erect to go right back down and do another push up. Now, while you're doing these, if you need to, you can always get down to your knees as so. Get down to your knees and still do the full push-up. Put your feet back into position and continue to inchworm up. Either way, you are getting your whole workout, making sure that you are being able to do it to your full ability. This is your workout and we're getting it done together. Awesome job. Really working it out. Almost done, team. Here we go. Finishing up these inchworms strong. Awesome. All right. We're going to stand. Our next set, we're going to do are some lunges. So forward lunges. We're going to keep our hands on our hips. I'll cheat to the camera. We're going to keep our hands on our hips. And we're going to take a step far enough that when we bend down, our leg bends at a 90 degree, but our knee does not touch the ground. We push back up. 
and then we alternate. So we do the other leg forward, knee almost touches the mat and push yourself back up. Knee almost touches the mat, push yourself back up. Taking steps completely in a straight line, just going straight forward and pushing yourself back into standing position. Awesome. I'm a little heavy on my feet, so try to make it a little graceful. It doesn't have to be a huge thud when your foot comes down and pushing yourself back up. Finding balance in this motion. Try not to wobble. Step forward lightly and pushing yourself back gracefully. Being kind to our bodies while we are working out. Realizing that they are getting us through this workout and they become stronger every time we challenge them to build strength. Here we go. Keeping those hands on your hips, keeping everything tall. As we finish up with these lunges, we breathe in with every opportunity we get and exhale out knowing we are becoming a stronger version of ourselves because we decided to do the work today. Here we go. All right, finishing up these burpees strong. Come on, ladies. You got this, Miri. Woo! Perfect. Okay, our next set, we're gonna do are some burpees. Now there's two different ways to do the burpees and I'll do it out this way. So you can either go straight down, kick your legs and come back up, or you can do the full push up, push yourself back up and then hop. Either way, let's get to it. Here we go, doing 90 seconds of burpees. We got this. See how many you can do in these 90 seconds we're given. Awesome job. Not going for speed, but going for accuracy. Going for the actual form that is going to build up our technique to do it correctly every time. Burpees are beautiful. They're helping us become stronger versions of ourselves. Here we go. Wrapping up, here we go, ladies. Awesome. All right, we got 20 seconds before we do our last of the 10. Yay. So we're gonna do some curtsy lunges. I know we love these. So we're going to bring one leg forward, scoop one leg behind, and when we lower down into it, we are just going to be pulsing right here. So just pulse right here in your curtsy lunge. Again, if you need to take a break, you can always push yourself out of it, but then get right back into it when you can. Here we go. That's gonna be kind of hard for me to cheat this one because I can't see the timer, but we're supposed to switch at the halfway mark. So when it gets to 45 seconds, even if I forget for a couple seconds, make sure you switch around 47. So then you'll be in position a little bit by 44 seconds. This is intense, but we're gonna push through. Here we go. 45 seconds on each side. And then we get that 60 second water break. Really pulsing it out. Feeling that intensity build up in your leg, but keep going, keep moving past it. Let me see where we're at. All right, so at that time we're supposed to switch over. So now I'm gonna switch my left leg over. And now my left leg is in front. Your hips are trying to stay square, only your legs crossed. Still pulsing it out, feeling that burn, but knowing the burn is your friend, it is building your muscle. It is making us stronger. 
Then when we got onto this call, we got onto this call because we knew we were going to work hard. We knew this was going to be intense, but we knew we were going to push past it, become stronger versions of ourselves. And that's exactly what we're doing. Here we go. Awesome. Get your 60 second water break. Whew, that was intense. So again, we've got that whole set again, but this time instead of 60 seconds, or sorry, instead of 90 seconds, it's only gonna be 60 seconds. <sighs> Along with that getting cut down, instead of having the 20 second breaks, now we're only gonna have 15. But it's okay, because at least for this round, we know what everything looks like and we know we're gonna push past it. So for the first round we'll be doing, again, we'll get down on the ground and we'll just be doing the leg swings. So when you're doing your leg swings, again, making sure our hands and our legs are off the ground when we're doing this, we're touching straight leg, trying to touch the toe with our tips of our fingers, back down and rotate it. It should be going at a speed that as you're doing this, your legs are constantly in motion. They're either coming up or they're going down. And we only have to do this for 60 seconds. Here we go. Really getting that abdominal workout. Feeling that stretch in the back of our legs. Feeling that tension in the front of our legs. Here we go. Only 60 seconds on the clock. And we are more than halfway done now. Keep on moving, Eva. Keep on going, Miri. You've got this, Anat. Awesome job. Oh. Feels so good. So we got 15 seconds on the clock before we start doing our leg swing. So again, if your hands want to go right under, you keep your legs straight. They come up and you twist to one side down and you twist to the other side. Here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. Keep going, ladies. We bring our butts off the ground and twist to the side. Off the ground and twist. Really feeling those cores. Really feeling those muscles build. Pushing our legs up past gravity and twisting to get those results. Pushing out our ceiling as we continue to work out. Here we go. Awesome job. Way to go, ladies. All right, we are now in those hip dips. So in less than 15 seconds, let's get into plank position. Again, if you hold it in plank position, that is quite all right, but if you can, Really twist your hips from one side to the other, getting those side obliques to give us that nice definition, to give us that nice twist and tone. Here we go. Awesome job, ladies. Keep with it, keep going. Keep on moving, keep on going. I know it's tough, but you are tougher. Awesome. Let yourself relax for 15 seconds. Got a little sweat on me. So now we're gonna go right into those supermen or superwomen. We are super people. And we're going to make sure that with each one of these raises, we lift our legs and our arms 
off the mat and back down off and down here we go with every rep we get closer to the reason we got on this call knowing that we were going to do an intense circuit workout we knew we signed up for dance conditioning and we were going to condition until we sweat getting that flexibility and that strength gaining that tone and that resistance knowing we were going to become mentally and physically stronger and that's exactly what we're doing with every rep keep on moving remind yourself why you got on this call remind yourself why you signed up and get what you wanted out of this class <sighs> friday evenings are the best time to remind yourself what you are going to do for the rest of the weekend before you get right back into it for the whole week here we go awesome all right we've got some up downs so next 10 seconds you're going to get into push-up position and we're going to go from plank to push-up here we go starting in push-up and going right down to plank and right back up to push-up if you find yourself getting tired feel free to hold the position get your breath back before you get right back into it here we go we only have 60 seconds on each of these and we are going through them fast. Awesome job. Remember to switch it up every once in a while. If you're going down with your left and up with your left, switch it. Go down with your right, up with your right. Almost done, ladies. Remember to try not to sway, even I forget. All right, let yourself rest for a second. We got mountain climbers coming up next. So we're gonna get back in that push-up position. Our legs are gonna be straight out, and this time we're gonna do opposite knee, opposite elbow. So for 60 seconds, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Even if it's not fast, make sure you are crossing your body with your knee. Try to touch that elbow. Way to go. Keep on moving. I know it's tough, but push past. 